Last summer, we found such a beautiful caterpillar on the street. Apparently, she was gaining weight for the future transformation into some kind of insect and plentifully devoured cabbage leaves. We were wondering what she could turn into. So, of course, we took her with us and even came up with her own name. Meet Iskrinka. Since we picked up the caterpillar outside the city, it was necessary to make her a temporary home where she'll spend the next 24 hours. We took this container having previously made several small holes in its lid. We added pebbles, branches, and other natural decorations to make Iskrinka feel comfortable in the new environment for herself. As food for a few days, we plucked cabbage leaves on which we found our caterpillar on. And of course, we sprayed the part of the container with water so that Iskrinka could drink till her heart's content. Well, she's all moved in. The caterpillar almost immediately began to inspect its new home, and in just an hour, it probably climbed all possible corners. By the way, next to Iskrinka, we found several more of her friends who escaped safely through holes previously made in the container, but more on that later. We even managed to film the process of eating leaves by caterpillars. I've always wanted to see how it looks up close. The caterpillar spent exactly one night in this house. In the morning, we checked the container and found out that some of the caterpillars still made an escape. But most importantly, Iskrinka was still there, and even managed to chew through a couple of leaves. It looks like she felt quite comfortable. We took a container with caterpillars and took it home. And that's where the fun began. The caterpillar began to weave white threads right before our eyes to prepare for the creation of the future cocoon. Therefore, we had to interfere with her a little to show the whole process already under normal conditions. Now such a small aquarium has become a new home for the caterpillar, which we have also equipped with everything necessary. Here the caterpillar will have plenty of space and food, so it just remains to wait until it becomes ready to transform into a butterfly. And fortunately for us, it happened pretty quickly. Already, in the evening, the caterpillar wove new threads for itself and caught on the wall of the aquarium, preparing to appear in a completely different appearance. And by the morning, we found the caterpillar in this position. Apparently, the walls of the aquarium turned out to be too smooth, and our caterpillar just fell off them. We decided not to touch her and leave her in this position. By the way, did you notice such a furry part next to the caterpillar? It turns out that it was her past shell. We were just shocked when we found this footage on the internet. From time to time, it was possible to notice some movements inside the cocoon. It was very difficult for the ordinary eye to catch these movements, so we put the camera on a time lapse to get accelerated shooting. Apparently, at this moment, there was some kind of restructuring of Iskrinka's body. Every day the cocoon acquired a new color and slightly modified its structure. We didn't know when to wait for the future hatching, so we just checked the condition of the cocoon daily for new changes. So the whole of autumn passed, and then the whole of winter passed. Everything was stable until one spring day we discovered that the cocoon had completely darkened. It was difficult to predict what this could mean, so we had no choice but to just wait for a few changes. And finally, they have come. After a couple of days, the cocoon changed color again. Therefore, we considered it necessary to finally carefully hang the butterfly's tail from a fishing line, as if it's in its usual state. And as support replacing branches in the wild, we used a regular ruler which was shortened in advance to fit the size of the aquarium. We really hope that in a couple of weeks, our Iskrinka will wake up and we will be able to see her in a completely new look. Thank you all for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell to get notified when we upload. Also, I do the voiceover work for this channel. If you'd like to check out some of my content, just click the annotation on screen. See you soon!